Hello friends, this video on triangles part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 12. Let's take some examples of internal angle bisector. The question says AD is the angle bisector of angle A. So we have got this triangle ready made for you. AD is the angle bisector of angle A. BD is equal to 4. DC is equal to 3. AB is equal to 6. Find AC. Let this be X. So we know that 6 by x is equal to 4 by 3 using angle bisector theorem because since this AD is the angle bisector of this angle, this, this and this angle are equal, correct. So we can say that AB by AC is equal to BD by CD. So 6 by x is equal to 4 by 3, right? Or you can say x is equal to 6 into 3 by 4, that is 18 by 4, that is 4.5 centimeter. And that is my answer. Very simple. Let's take one more example. Here also, ready made image for you. AD is the angle by sector of angle A. AB is equal to 10. AC is equal to 14. BC is equal to, this is whole is 6. We have to find BD and DC. Correct. So let this be X. So this becomes 6 minus X. Why? Because the whole BC is 6. So again, we'll get the same formula 10 by 40 is equal to x by 6 minus x. Why? AD by AC is equal to BD by DC or we get 60, 60 I mean I'll like write this, 10 into 6 minus x is equal to 14x or again 60 minus 10x is equal to 14x or I get 24x is equal to 60 or I get x is equal to 60 by 24 that is 5 by 2 that is 2.5 so if i got x is equal to 2.5 6 minus x becomes 3.5 correct that is i got bd is equal to 2.5 centimeter and dc is equal to 3.5 centimeter and that is my answer very simple assume this is x this becomes 6 minus x. Apply the angle by sector theorem. Let's take one more example. AD and AE are internal and external by sector of angle A of angle ABC. We have to prove that BD by B is equal to CD by C. Correct. Let's draw this triangle. We have this triangle ABC. Right. In this we are told that AD and AE are internal and external by sector of angle A. So let's draw this internal angle by sector. This is AD. Also, to draw external angle bisector, we will extend this and let's suppose this is external angle bisector AE. Correct? Now, we have this angle 1, angle 2 and this suppose there is 3 and this is 2. So, we are given that angle 1 is equal to angle 2 and angle 3 is equal to angle 3. This is all we are given. We have to prove that BD by BE is equal to CD by CE. Actually going by this, we don't know BD by BE. BD by BE is something which we are not familiar with. But BD by CD is something which we are familiar with, right? BD by CD. Correct? BD by... So what we will say? We will read it as... as BD by CD is equal to BE by CE. This is something we are familiar with. BD by CD we know this is angle by C, this becomes AB by AC, right? Similarly, BE by EC will also become AB by AC. Correct? So we can write that BD by CD is equal to AB by AC. Why? Since AD is angle bisector, also we can write BE by CE is also equal to AB by AC. Why? Since A is angle bisector, since A is angle bisector, B by C is equal to AB by AC. You see in both the case, right hand side is same. So I can write that. BD by CD 
इज इक्वल टू बी ई बाय सी और सेम थिंग आई लिस्ट चेंज द पोजिशन बिकॉज दिस शुड कम हेयर दिस बिकम्स बी डी बाय बी दैट इज वॉट द क्वेश्चन आस्किंग मी डू सो आई मिस डूइंग इट सी डी बाय सी ई दिस इज सी ई एच डी एंड दैट इज आई वॉज सपोज टू वेरी सिंपल वी जस्ट ऑब्जर्व इट एंड बी फ्रॉम द ऑब्जर्वेशन इट्स वी कैन मेक आउट दैट बी डी बाय बी इज समथिंग विच वी डोंट लुक फॉर बी डी बाय सी डी इज समथिंग वी नो द फॉर्मुला वी नो एंड सिमिलरली बी ई बाय सी ऑल्सो वी नो Let me repeat once again. This is crucial diagram. Right Please note, since in this case AB is the angle bisector, so AB by AC will become. Since D is a point, right? You start from B, you go to D, and you start from D, you go to C. So this becomes AB by AC will become BD by DC, right? This one should be. In second case, since A is the angle external angle bisector of this triangle ABC. What you do? You again start with B, you go to E, and then from E to C. This becomes B. This becomes EC. So AB by AC is BE by EC. Just a memory tip, total tip to remember this. Else it is confusing. If you have this triangle ABC, no matter it's external or internal, doesn't matter. If you have this point D or E or any any point where this internal or external and vice versa meets, you start from point B. You go to D, then again you start from point D. You go to the next end of the triangle. You start with this point, go to this point E, then you start with this point end, and you go to the next end of the triangle. That's how it is. Correct. Let's take some more example of angle bisector. Diagonal BD of quadrant ABCD bisects both angle B and angle D. We have to prove that AB by BC is equal to AD by So let's see what question is saying. Let's draw for the coordinator A B C D. This is the coordinator A B C D. Now the question is diagonal B D of the coordinator bisects angle B and D. So let's draw for diagonal B D. The question says this bisects angle B and D. That is this angle is equal to this angle one dash. This is two and this is two dash. Right? This angle one is equal to angle one dash. Angle two is equal to angle two dash. We are told this. We have to prove that AB by BC is equal to AD by C. Correct. How can we approach this? So, if we talk about, let's suppose AB by BC, and this is the angle bisector. So, we can talk only about triangle. Correct. So, if we are talking about this B is the angle bisector, then we should talk about this triangle ABC. Because if B is the angle bisector, so right AB by BC will be something. This some point here by this point. So let's draw this. Let's join AC also. Let's join this AC and call this point D. Now we can say that in triangle ABC, AB by BC is equal to AE by EC. Correct. Why have I done this? Because this is something I was looking for. So I wrote this here. So we'll let me try to find the value of this. What is this actually? This is nothing but in triangle ADC. So in this triangle ADC, if you see, if you want to find AD by DC, AD by CD, this will also be A by C. And coincidentally, if you see right, this solves our purpose. Both are equal. So we got. A B by B C is equal to A D by C. This was pretty easy question. We just wrote what this value should be, and we found it's equal, and we got the answer. Very simple. Thank you. Visit examfear. dot com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again. 